children of Dinkletown loved to see me around Christmas time, cause they all thought they was getting something. I can't believe it's Christmas. I think I'm finally getting something. Can't believe it's Christmas, my favorite time of year. I can't believe it's Christmas. Been dreaming of a sugar plum thing. Can't believe it's Christmas. Oh boy, it's finally here. Boss, you mean you wanted those kids to be all whiny? Mm-hmm. I don't get it, boss. You see, Mr. Lunt, the only way their parents will get them to stop whining is to buy them lots of toys. And as the owner of the Nezzer Toy Factory, I'll make out like a bandit. Oh, boss, you are very wily. More wily than my brother, Nebby K? You mean the one with the chocolate factory that I used to work for? Oh, you are much more wily than him. Good. Soon everyone will know that Wally P. Nezzer is the wiliest Nezzer of them all. Oh, there's no doubt about that, boss. Well, fire up the assembly line, Mr. Lunt. We've got money to make. And that's what Christmas is all about. That's not what Christmas is about. 
I know that, and you know that, but Wally P. Neza was a little confused. And thanks to his TV commercial, so was everybody else. The kids were whining and the toys were flying off assembly line just like he planned. That must have been the worst Christmas ever. Oh, yes, it would have been if it wasn't for what happened next. What? What happened? Well, as the toys were coming down the assembly line having their noses tested, one of them winced. He grimaced, made a face, didn't like the sound of the words that was coming out of his own head. But he was just a toy. Maybe he was wired different. Who knows? Anyways, that night, while all the other toys were waiting to get sent out, he was doing some thinking. Grumpy kids, greedy dreams. This is not what Christmas means. I'm just a toy. I don't claim to be a genius, but there must be more to Christmas. There must be more to Christmas. I think we're really missing something. Must be more to Christmas. But what? Yes, there had to be more. Louis didn't know what it was, but he figured it was about time somebody found out. before. Why, he'd never even been out of his box before. But he was a smart toy. How hard could it be? Maybe a little harder than he thought. The toy that saved Christmas will continue after this short break. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. It's Christmas Eve and Laddie is anxiously awaiting the arrival of Santa Claus with a plate of cookies. Oh, Santa. I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. And I've got cookies. Three yummy cookies. Just for you for when you come. Only for you for when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is surprised to be greeted not by Santa, but a crafty bank robber. Who are you? I'm a bank robber! And I've come to rob your bank, yes, I've come to rob your bank, and I've come to take your dimes and swipe your nickels. So stand back, step aside, you silly pickle, and let me in. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I'm not a banker. I have no bank, my robbing friend, but I have cookies. Three yummy cookies. And I don't have nickels. But please take this, my robbing friend. Eat one of these, my robbing friend. They are for Santa. But you may have one. The bank robber is truly touched by Larry's goodwill. But Larry, although momentarily distracted, is still excited about seeing Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a robber. I, can't I came to rob your bank. Oh, yes, I came to rob your bank. And I've got cookies. You shared a cookie. Two yummy cookies. I yummy cookie. Just though I'd love to wait your time. Me, perhaps for another time. time. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who 
brings presents for a cucumber like me. A good cucumber like me. Once again, it is not Santa who has come to Laddie's door, but this time a savage Norseman. Who are you? I'm a Viking! And I've come to take your land. Oh yes, I've come to take your land. And I've come to burn your crops and steal your horses. And I've come to step on your chickens and soil your quilts. Hey. Aye. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I don't have plans. I don't have crops, my Viking friend, but I have cookies. Two yummy cookies. And I don't have horses. But please take this, my Viking friend. Eat one of these, my Viking friend. They are for Santa. But you may have one. The Viking is also touched by Larry's goodwill, but Larry's thoughts are still with Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a Viking! I can't wait to take your land. Oh, yes, I can't wait for you to come. I've got a cookie. You shared a cookie. A yummy cookie. A yummy cookie. Just oh, for I you far when you come. Quilts. Only for I you far when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is greeted now by an agent of the Internal Revenue Service. Who are you? I'm from the IRS. And I've come to attack your... Oh, Santa. I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. It's finally Santa. It's finally him. At last the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me. A good cucumber like me. I'm Santa. And I've come to bring you gifts. Oh yes, I've come to bring you gifts. And I've come to stock your stocking. Go ho ho ho. And I've come to jiggle my belly and wiggle my nose. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that my belt? And what are you doing with my hat? So you're the ones. Wait a minute, I can explain. We've changed. Nobody messes with Santa. You know that, don't you? You've been very naughty. And I've got a list. Did you claim that? Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs>